My name is George Salisbury, and I am an editor and cinematographer from Plymouth. I am the writer and director of my graduate film, The Willows, a modern reinterpretation of Kenneth Graham's classic novel, The Wind in the Willows. My role on the film was influenced by my experience working on For What It's Worth one year ago, the graduate film of Andrew Clive Early, as well as the transition from solo, guerrilla filmmaking to a full-scale production with a cast and crew. For my graduate film, I collaborated with gifted cinematographer Mike Stroud, and my production manager, Siobhan Kelly, essentially became my producer. My lighting engineer was Trond Alav Amdal, and my sound recordist was Daniel Discombe. My cast, Jamie, Tom, and Lily, were all excellent at portraying the individual characteristics and personalities of their roles. I also have to give a shout out to Julia Claxton, who was very articulate and helpful in her suggestions. Through her help, I got Freya Beavis to work as an art director, who was very passionate and supportive, as well as Caitlin Pine, who was very professional and resourceful in her work as a stills photographer and as an assistant director. My understanding of the film environment has drastically improved through the compulsory delegation that this project has involved. The main inspiration for the project was my Asperger's syndrome, which is a big part of my perspectives. This is also why Mole is the key focus of the film, as it shows to the audience how I see the world. The film was also inspired by family life, my late grandfather in Newbury, and my parents doing a stage play of The Wind in the Willows themselves. Lars von Trier's Dogville, a film that is unapologetically minimal and deviant, destroying the fourth wall on Hollywood conventions, inspires the film cinematically. I mainly had to research the original Wind in the Willows to discuss themes and contexts, such as the anti-industry and traditionalist themes. I also investigated how the story was previously adapted and how it represents English lifestyles. I was also inspired by methods of metacognition carried over from research and experimentation. Technically, the film was shot on the C100, and the sound recording was integrated into the camera. We also used a range of reflectors and light panels to achieve the film's look and exposure. The project was largely centered on problem solving and multitasking, and I had to be resourceful to get through the shooting. The silhouette idea was very much a plan B, but became much more integral than I thought and we had to shift the set around to achieve the projection we wanted. It was definitely helpful to have the full cast and crew on hand to offer solutions and, and approaches to problems. We embraced the shoddiness of the film and made it part of the style and the aesthetic. Ha hashtag crummy and proud. We destroyed the fourth wall in our film production and made it more acknowledging of its boundaries. Originally, I was going to shoot the film with a more traditional aesthetic and feel, but I changed this following tutor and colleague feedback, as well as fiscal limitations. The main lesson that I have learned from this project is the importance of collaboration and delegation. I have learned to trust in people to do jobs for me, as well as, well as let them do their jobs without interference. I have also learned the importance of time management and coordination, and all sorts of other things. The project has been kind consuming, but exciting, and has definitely set me up for a professional film shoot. <laughs>